What does a model mean to you? What comes to mind when I say models? Okay, people who can teach us. Who else? Systems. Who else? What else? Probably be about someone who has done this before. We call them coaches, models, mentors, even resources. So who can show us or what can show us the steps to reach our goal? That's models. This is one of the many reasons I love NSA, because models get up here and they teach us. They say, hey, here's what worked for me, or here's the research on this, and they teach us the steps. And then we must go forth and with mastery means practice those steps. Mastery is about practice. And we all know that practice doesn't make perfect. Progressive practice makes perfect. Progressive practice makes perfect. So mastery is about learning from some experts. We are experts who speak. And listening to what they tell us, and we go forth and practice those steps. It's as simple and profound as that. Now, let me tell you how I approached this when I first entered the speaking business. When I first entered the speaking business, I learned from a model who basically said, Dave, listen, this is a tough business. And I've heard you speak. You're going to have a tough time for a while. <laughs> I liked his candor. And he then said this. He said, you know, the way to really make it in this business is to have some products, get some passive income going. So I said, you know what? That sounds good to me. Uh, he said, what could you come up with that you think the market would buy so you could get this income as you got your speaking career going? I said, well, I have an idea to build a CD-ROM that automates marketing for a particular aspect of healthcare." He said, oh, that sounds real good. You know how to do it? I said, I'm not sure. He said, here's some resources. He gave me some ideas. And lo and behold, I came up with a CD-ROM called Strategy, Automating Marketing for a particular area of healthcare, And that was on the market within two years. And I had ambitious, folks, I'm here to tell you, I had some ambitious goals when I first got into the business. And I'll stand here before you and say it was within two years to be in six figures. And I want you to know I was, at the end of two years, in six figures, but in debt. <laughs> and then the next year, I doubled it, the debt. No, actually, within two years, I was $100,000 in debt. Burned through $50,000 cash, $50,000 in credit card debt, and what am I doing? Sending you a mixed message here? Here's my question for you. What went wrong? What happened? Okay, maybe the baby steps. Yeah, real, real close right here. Let's give it up for Sharon. I'll tell you what she just said. Excellent. <clears throat> she, she said, you didn't, you didn't master the model. Very close, because you know what I did? I picked the wrong model. Now, I don't blame this individual. I, of my own free will, chose to follow him and his advice. However, it does offer us a bit of caution, doesn't it? What's, what's the lesson learned here, do you think, for me and perhaps for you? Choose the right model. And upon what criteria do we base that decision? Yeah. A lot of us do their success, their emotion. I would submit to you that one of the best criteria you can use for following somebody is to answer a question that my boss at UCLA, world-famous scientist, said he invented a whole technology. You all heard of MRI and CT, of course, right? The next generation is PET, positron emission tomography. My boss at UCLA invented it. Our institute was dedicated to it. He is brilliant. He used to ask me this question all the time. I offer it to you when you're considering a model. When someone tells you something and their models, ask either directly or at least in your head, really, and how do you know that? 